from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez and these are your latest headlines. This morning, Indiana honors the life and legacy of Queen Elizabeth II. Governor Eric Holcomb has directed flags in the state to be flown at half staff today. The flags will remain in that position until sunset on the day of the Queen's interment, which is currently set for September the 18th. The governor also asking businesses and residents to lower their flags in a sign of support. Two people were injured, including one critically, at a shooting on the city's north side. This all happening last night around 10 near the intersection of Capitol Avenue and 38th Street. When officers arrived on the scene, they found two people with gunshot wounds. One, we're told, remains in critical condition this morning. There's no word on what led to that shooting. And happening today, people in need can go to a pop-up food distribution event. This is taking place this afternoon from 2 until 5 in the evening. You can find it on Massachusetts Avenue near Jewel Human Services. The event in partnership with Eastern Star Church. Mayor Joe Hoxett will be there to raise awareness about food insecurity. On this Friday, time to check your forecast. Top, Todd Clausen standing by. All right, a beautiful day for us here to round out the work week, Raphael, with temperatures that'll be topping off in the mid 80s with lots of sunshine and fairly low humidity. Take advantage, get outside uh, this evening. We'll cool down through the 70s. You wake tomorrow morning to temperatures that will be in the 60s. And then for your weekend, Saturday is not a washout, but some scattered showers will build in. Sunday is potentially the wetter day and the cooler day with a high of 76. Uh, rain chances tomorrow, it's only about a 20% chance as we work our way throughout much of the afternoon and into the evening hours. That means it's very spotty. Any showers you do see will also be very, very light. For more weather and stories that you need to know right now, please download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.